Shalom. I'd like to say our praises do unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect. My name is Connawak from GMS Toronto. Doing a quick lesson in regards to, um, I have a couple notes. You know, uh, in regards to the Iroquois, the Iroquois Confederacy, the Black Loyalists in North America. Um, I'm going to uh, be going into that. You know, hold on one second. Bear, could just bear with me. Be burning a little incense. One second. One second. Yeah, Shalawa. Yeah, so this is gonna be the Iroquois Confederacy. All right, um, this is just gonna be a quick lesson. Um, gonna do it in just an hour, Lord's will. And uh, let's see where the spirit's gonna lead. Um, this is probably gonna be a ongoing series. All right, so uh, let's go. The Iroquois Confederacy. All right, off of off the Britannia, the, the Britannic. Um, I said the Britannic. Um, dot com, the Iroquois Confederacy, America, the American Indian Confederacy, the American. Co the American Confederacy, self-named Haden Sadis, people of the Longhouse. All right, so you know this is where, you know where you know our people would assemble, you know have council. All right, and um, you know um, you know the whole Constitution, American Constitution. You know the Canadian Constitution was established, you know, by our people. All right, um, by uh, you know, by Gad, you know, Rubin, and as well as um, you know the the like the Black Loyalists or the Loyalists, right, from uh, Britain. You know, but uh, I'm just gonna go on, go into uh, the Iroquois Confederacy, uh, cause it's very uh, in depth. So I'm just, I'm gonna uh, make an ongoing series. Uh, I have my notes, my research. So uh, let's see where the spirit's gonna lead. Also called the Iroquois, the also called called the Iroquois League Five Nation or from 1722 the Six Nation Confederacy later six Indian tribes across New York no upper New York started that during started that during the 17th and 18th centuries playing a strategic rule uh, role in the struggle between the French and the British for for mastery of North America 
All right. It says, uh, the five original Iroquois nation were the Mohawk. All right, so the Mohawk, you know, um, self name the Canin Kahaka people of the Flint, you know, a new so that be uh, in that whole region, you know, let's see. Iroquois Confederacy map. All right, because um, there's a vast history, you know, that's out there. Every So the Mohawk, so these would be the five. All right. And um, they added another one, another nation, which would be six, right? You know, and um, the six nation reserve, let's put that. Six Nation, you know, Lake Ontario, so um, Seneca, like Kayaga, Onondaga, Oneda, Mohawk. All right, and um, here it is. This would be the map. You no, know, so through that whole river, St. Lawrence River, Lake Ontario. All right. This would be here and um, this is a uh, very much um, this is a lot of our history man that was uh, you know stolen you know because we set up uh, you know rules you know you know like to govern the land and uh, you know eventually we fell all right and uh let's get gonna get a scripture okay genesis uh 49 and uh regards to gad just flowing in the spirit Genesis 49 and 1 Jacob called unto his sons and he said and said gather yourself together that I may tell you that which shall be which shall befall you in the last days all right so Jacob was a prophet all right and uh, he blessed his sons you know of things that would befall us in the last days which which were in the last days all right so uh, we know you know according to the spirit you know who the tribe of gad is you know we we have learned this truth you know under the one westers all right through uh abba bivens you know uh king masha you know high priest uh, uh elder yaikwab you know um Elder Arya, you know, Arya, he brought out, you know, the, the prophecy in uh, Ezekiel 38. No, Ezekiel, Ezekiel, uh, like 37. All right. But the dry bones, you know, can, and then, um, you know, the, the stick, you know, the stick of, uh, you know, I could get that after, but, um, you know, but like pretty much, you know, uh, he was the fourth, he's the forerunner, all right, who, uh, he had a vision, and, uh, he's, you know, like, they were well learned, all right, because, uh, Apostle Tahar said that, um, you know, high priest, uh, I mean, um, 
to the Abba Bivens and um, and um, and Arya, all right, because Arya was a student of uh, of he was a student of Abba Bivens, all right. He he started he uh, he got his bar mitzvah, his bar mitzvah, you know, at a young age, when uh, you know since he's a twelve. All right, and uh, he pretty much um, he grew up, you know, as a as an Israelite, and uh, pretty much uh, he had an epiphany, you know, as to who the tribes were, you know, in his latter years. All right, uh, so you could watch, you know, certain breakdowns, you know, of uh, High Priest Arya. Um, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, Marsha uh, and other uh, type videos from in the 80s and 90s. You know, they have it on YouTube. You know, and uh, you could do your research. You know, they they would go into uh, the history of uh, our people. Um, I forgot the guy's name. Uh, but uh, you know, but he would have, uh, you know, that like they would have in classes, you know, and they would go into the into the uh, like the icons and uh, the history of our people during the mid, um, like during the Middle Ages. All right, a lot of uh, history could uh, go on YouTube, you know, put a uh, high priest Arya or uh, King Masha. And um, you know, all those videos from in the 70s, 80s, you know, some of them are still on YouTube. I think GMS class, let's see. I think GMS old school or something. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna, uh, Add it in the description. GMS. GMS class. Hold on, I want to try. High priest Arya, you know, and you know, I'm um, the Arya, which means lion, <laughs> lion, you know, the way how he prophesied, you know, Arya. But they're still there, hopefully. Uh, Yeah, old school Arya. Don't take the Karagma. You know they would have, they had their school and all that. Let's let's go. Hold on, Slakia. Slakia, Slakia. Yeah, this is Arya. All right, because you know, because this thing is a mystery, man. You know, thus, um, you know, like thus why you know, like we have the one westers. All right, and um, you know, and they pretty much, you know, come from that root. You know, I sent some. Um, This is uh, the secret truth about uh, our, yeah, this is Volcat Malone, you know, which he's, uh, he's an infiltrator, all right, and uh, he works for uh, Amalek, you know, who he likes to debunk our history, all right.
Sorry, Priest Aria. Um, you know, El uh, Young Apostle Tahar. You know. So this is a lot of history, man. All right, and we learned, you know, through them. You know, like you know, like I wasn't even born. I was born eighty nine. You know, so you know, like when these guys was on the street. You know, I was still in my, uh, I was still in the spiritual world, man. I was still, you know, in my uh, father's nuts, man. You know, says, so uh, let me put that. Like to give double honors unto, um, let me find that scripture. And then we're going to continue. It's all in the spirit. Give double honors. Give double. Uh, let's get that. Yeah, First Timothy five. Let's get that. Then we're gonna go back into uh, Genesis forty nine. Slack yeah. This is the epistle of Paul. All right, uh, First Timothy five and seventeen. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honors, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. So you know, um, that that's why we say, you know, that we like to say double honors to the apostles, you know, of great millstone. All right, and uh, peace and blessings, in like basically. You know like that's what we say you know you know every time we make those videos because you know because we're giving credit where you know where credits do you know and um you know hype um you know apostle tahar he learned through you know high priest aria the school you know and and so you know like that's why uh even though aria he's uh he's older in age and uh there has been a, a, a like a controversy you know what happened to him but uh you know you know that we believe that he's a man of the lord all right think of uh, that's like malachi fourth chapter all right um let's get back genesis 49 you know because this thing is not a thing that we made of ourselves, man. You know, like this, you know, like we have learned this, you know, through, you know, through Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father Yahweh. He used men, you know, like to put this truth out there, man. All right. So God, Genesis 49 and, and uh, nine, uh, 19. I started to, uh, Genesis 49 2. Gather yourself together and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel, your father. You know, you know, we know that Jacob, you know, after he wrestled with the angel, all right, you know, he got his blessing in Israel, all right. Israel, Yah, is he, Shar, Prince, El, or Al, a power, sorry, so. He's Prince Power, all right? He's the Prince of the Power, all right? So, you know, so we're kings, we're rules, we're, we're nobles, man, all right? You know, and, and like, and, and, you know, he, like, he fought, you know, he fought the angel, man, you know, like, for that blessing, man. Genesis 49 and 19, Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome him at the last, all right, through, um, the American, um, the American Cavalry, you know, also uh, the Royal Canadian like police, the or the Mounties throughout America or, or um like throughout Canada, 
all right and um you know like pretty much you know what happened to our people with the the whole boarding schools you know like residential schools throughout canada in america like they will call them you know unlike they were called boarding schools you know and they indoctrinated our people you know like they have they stripped our people of their culture of our heritage not know who we are but he shall overcome at the last so we're so we're so we're waiting for that prophecy man you know you know when the lord's gonna he's gonna come and he's gonna restore back our people all right the hundred forty four thousand all right revelation seven all right twelve thousand other men out of each tribe all right and then the one third you know which no man can number all right so let's get uh john and then we're gonna go back into the iroquois confederacy i'm just gonna try and do it brief for our sakes um john 10 Salakia. So uh, John 10 and uh, 14. This is, you know, like the Lord, Yahweh, you know, when he's doing his ministry and, uh, you know like and like these are things when the lord was on the scene he was going over our people's head you know the jews and um you know like even his uh you know like even his disciples you know like the 12 disciples you know um like they never understood you know like what the lord was uh was doing right but you know for the most part you know, he gave our people, you know, we know that, um, like, Yahweh Shai, he gave, like, the 12 a lot of knowledge and things to look to, um, like, things to look forward to and to watch out for, right? All right, but, um, this is John 10 and 14. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and I am, and I am, and I'm, and I'm known of mine. All right, so we know that you know that the shepherd Yahweh Shai. All right, and um, you know he's the shepherd, man. Yahweh Shai, and the sheep is the elect. All right, because the two, th you know, you know like the two thirds of the sheep is gonna be, you know, is gonna be destroyed, you know, throughout America. All right, they're gonna be totally. You know, um, that's why Zechariah 12, would, you know, it, it like goes into that. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I. Th as the Father knoweth me, even so I, th I know, th I know the Father, and I lay down. All right, so the Father is Yahweh. All right. All right, because he's the one who uh, he's the one, you know, he gave like Yahweh Shai, like the you know like the victory, you know, when he died and and he, and he came back, all right, on the third day, you know, and uh, you know, that's why that scripture says, "Ask of me, and I, and I shall give thee the heathen, you know, for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession." All right, so we're just waiting for, you know, the heavenly Father, you know, of like to give like the His Son, you know, like the go ahead, you know, to take down, you know, these uh, you know, like these, you know, um, like these Idomians, all right, and um, you know, and these heathen man, you know, cause you heathen are gonna go, it's gonna be trampled man, and you will. Be you know, and um that they will be our subjects, man. And I lay down my life for the sheep, right? So you know, so Yahweh is the sheep, man. 
like who, who like who laid his life down you know and he he was risen the third day and another you know and then and basically uh when the lord you know when he was risen the third day you know i think uh mary and like um and also mary mandolin they it um like they're the angel you know who basically are uh, like opened up like the um uh, who basically um like opened up like the sculpture and basically um you know like they are you know like like they saw like the lord the lord was with them um i believe for like for, for basically like almost 40 days and then he, he went up to the heavens all right and uh what happened a lot of our people you know was already here in the new world all right because uh, when you go into second Ezra's 13 verse 40 you know of the um let's get it and another and and other sheep i have which are not of this fold them also i must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd all right so you know so um like the lord um like yahweh he came back you know like to the new world all right he was known as the great pe like the great peacekeeper all right and um you know he you know he came back in different um like incarnations all right you know because that's how the lord does sometimes he comes back in different you know um like incarnation you know when you read about melchizedek and abraham you know and Mel like melchizedek was the high priest you know the king of righteousness all right so he came back in different incarnations all right he also came back as Ku Klan Khan, all right, the plumbing serpent, um, amazing serpent, all right, you know, throughout uh, with the Mayans, you know, and uh, you know, and like the Mexico over there in Central and also Mexico, all right, and we build, uh, you know, like pyramids, and you know, so I showed you that we're the same builders, all right, the pyramid builders. All right, because you know, like how we were in uh, Egypt, you know, and we're building up, you know, fair, um, like we're building up, um, on um, that treasure cities, and all that, man, the feather serpent, you know. So it says, uh. says and the and the other sheep i have which are not of my of this fold all right because our people would be over here in the americas you know from 722 bc all right during the fall of the assyrian empire all right because you know because we were led into captivity you know that by the Assyrians, you know unlike, unlike the northern tribes all right who uh you know because there's after the fall of solomon after the fall of king solomon you know uh, 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 like uh, like the kingdom was divided into two all right so yeah the southern kingdom judah benjamin levi and um basically there were jeroboam and and like jeroboam and rehob all right and babe it was everything was split the kingdom was split all right and uh you know like we were fighting against each other all right until the lord was he got tired of it and um the syrians came and they put our people down into captivity therefore doth my father love me because i have i laid down my life that i might take it again all right so yeah so you know so like yeah how was shy he was uh you know he was bruised by the father he was bruised by you know unlike the heavenly father unlike yahweh 
he bruised like he bruised Yahawashar, all right, because Yahawashar in his past life, you know, he's the wisest king of all, uh, you know, of the uh, of all time, all right, and uh, you know, in his older age, you know, he uh, he started going into uh, idolatry and witchcraft, all right, and uh, you know, cause uh, Solomon had uh, seven hundred uh, wives and uh 300 concubines all right so all kind of different nations and heathen women and um uh, you know and um that woman of the tribes and uh like pretty much our people was doing all kind of wickedness all right so um uh, you know like that's why you know like the kingdom was fell eventually after the fall of solomon and no man taketh it from me but i laid down of but i laid it down myself i have power to lay it down and i have power to take it again this is the commandments have i received of my father all right so you know like you know so like yahweh shai right like he's the one who's gonna you know the um, honor he's our mediator all right He's the mediator and he's gonna free us. Alright, and he's gonna make atonement, you know, back, you know, back to the Heavenly Father. It says, Genesis, St. John 10 and 19. Therefore, it says, it says there was was a division therefore against again among the jews for the like it says it says there was like division therefore again among the jews for the saying and many of them said he have a devil and is mad why hear ye him all right so you know like they never understood you know so um you know basically um because it wasn't given unto them right ultimately right and um you know they went over their heads you know so that, you know so they're saying this guy's a madman you know like what is he talking about others said there are not the words others said these are not the words of him that hath a devil can a devil open the eyes of the blind you know and uh and it was at jerusalem the feast of dedication so the feast of dedication would be hanukkah all right you know we're now uh, you know with the maccabean brothers all right because where people was catching hell you know like during the greco and roman time so yahweh shai he was born in within those times you know you know even prior to him being born you know like there was like the maccabees and all that and we read about uh, alexander you know first maccabees one and it was it was winter as yahweh shai walked into the temple in solomon porch all right so we know that yahweh shai he's the one who built up that temple all right and you know he came in, in his past life he was solomon so they never understood it all right and it went over our people's heads you know you could read about uh first second ezra's 13 and 40 but uh, for the uh, for basically for uh, for time's sake, I'm um, running out of time, so I'm gonna have it. So this is just gonna be an hour type video. Um, this is a uh, very much. Oh yeah, so this is Iroquois. It says like it says the origin and the growth of the Iroquois Confederacy. 
said the peacemaker story of the Iroquois, uh, like of the Iroquois tradition, it says created. No, it's not here. It said the peacemaker story of the Iroquois, like I said, tradition. It says credited of the like of the formation of the like of the confederacy between 1570 and the 1600s all right um it says Dekan Nawida is the peacemaker born in Huron who is said to have like persuaded by Hiwatha all right so yeah Hawath all right but basically you know like this was a place you know one of, like a india uh, a gadite or a simeon or no a gadite or um or rubenite you know time you know africa our people was living within those regions all right so that like, they believe that the peacemaker he was born you know through here huh? all right so he came back in different incarnation all right and uh he did a lot of miracles all right through all you know like that's why they call him the peacemaker all right because he was doing all kind of different miracles you could watch different documentaries about him you know there's a lot of history and on it on a dog living among mohawk to advance peace civil authority righteousness and the great law as like of like a sanctification for the confederacy all right so you know like this was like the lord you know and um you know he's the one who set up a lot of law like who set up uh a lot of things and basically we fell all right because um you know, if it, you know, because there was a, a fighting, you know, like with the French, all right, which would be in uh, New France, and then you know, like yeah, the Upper Canada, th like the thirteen colonies, you know, which was r r uh, ruled, you know, by the Britain, all right, and um, we all fell, all right, because our people was already over here, all right. The house of Hanover, you know, um, you know George, you know King George, the first, the second, and the third. You know he had a wife Charlotte Sophia. You know, and uh, for this, you know, for time's sake, uh, I'm gonna do more. I have a lot of research and stuff, and uh, I'm gonna makes more videos about it about uh you know of our people all right of um you know like the britons who came you know like to the uh like to america or the americas you know and uh established colonies and, and all that but we all fell eventually It says, uh, it's a cemented, like, it's a cemented mainly by their, like, desire to stand together against invasion. The tribes united in common council, composed of clan or villages chief. Each tribe had one vote and, and, and on on in on on enmity was required for like decisions all right um but eventually you know like there was a war all right because between the you know uh, uh, like but like between like the british empire and then the new france all right so you know we're fighting for uh for power you know for domain you know this 
is Eric Y. It's off Wikipedia. So we had a great uh, thing. No, Samuel D. Champlain, all that. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that point. Let's go with the great peacemaker. So the great peacemaker, right, off of Wikipedia. Sometimes referred to as Dagan Wada or Tekan Na Wata as a mark of respect some Iroquois avoided using his personal name except in except in special circumstances so you know so they know you know so they believe we believe that the Lord you know he came you know and uh he came in many different incarnations right? and he uh, you know and he knew the name of the father and the son all right so you know so they understood that and it was by tradition along by jagan hasa and hawaf the founder of the hasadan it's a commonly called the Iroquois Confessory. So this is a political and cultural union of six Iroquois speaking Native American tribes. It says, like it says, residing in the present day state of New York, Northern Pennsylvania and the Eastern portion of the like other uh, provenance of Ontario and Canada uh, and you know a lot of our people they're on the reserve you know they call it the six nation reserves let's uh, put that the six nation reserves you know over there in uh, Brantford it's, it's close to black it, like it's close to Brantford right and uh, it's a little small, small reserve. I went there, uh, well, year 2020. I was doing some business or whatever, um, you know, and uh, there's like a gas station right there, little, uh, they have like a, like a bear pole, like a like totem pole. I was like going, going uh, south going uh going south you know like basically you know like toward the gas station going a little bit further i'm looking for somebody that's looking for this but um you know this is uh the six nation reserve six nation the grand river french seneca it says um demographically so the largest First Nation Reserve in Canada. And as the end of a 2017, it have total of 27, 276 members, 12,848 whom live of the, on the reserve and is only reserve in, and is the only, like, is only reserve in North America that was it was resprint it was res, it was representative of all six Hodensonis nation living together. Alright, so the named are Mohawk Akaya Anandago Anida Seneca and <laughs> the, the, the Tuscarora Alright Goes into that And then it says Some Lenided Former known as The Delawares Also living on the reserve Right So You know And also they say that You know th These are tribes who uh, Mixed 
you know who, who, who they say that like, like they say that the Delaware tribe had had mixed with them all right because our people was already uh living amongst each other all right through uh through that you know the Cherokee so a lot of our people was mixing up um I have to, you know, like, um, like this is gonna be a whole different resource study, you know. But uh, you know, like they're mixing up amongst uh, amongst the tribes, you know, whether it's Gad or Reuben. They call them like they were called the Delaware Moors. So the Moors of Delaware. All right. So these Moors would mean uh, more just means black. Okay, because this is a whole uh, big can of worms. All right, but uh, you know they have you know like we mixed amongst the tribes all right i don't want to really go um uh, no that deep because uh, it is very uh in depth um i'm gonna get another scripture and close because i'm gonna have to do a part two Let's get the scripture and then I'm gonna close. All right, let me get Daniel seven. Then I'm gonna close out. Daniel. No, I should get no like Daniel nine and seven. Daniel nine and seven. O Lord righteousness O Lord righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us the confusion of faces as it is this day, to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Alright, so the southern tribe Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Uh, and you know, and Jerusalem would be referring like to the other ten tribes, uh, who are scattered, you know, throughout the world, uh, that lived over here, uh, in the Americas and the Caribbean. All uh, right, and now you know we're we're scattered, you know, through the transatlantic slave trade, and uh, through wars, you know, you know World War One, World War Two. You know, so uh, even to this day, you know, Israel, you know, uh, Israel as a, the stand of the sea, and to all the to all Israel that are near and that are far off, through all the countries whether thou hast driven them, because because of their trespasses that they have trespassed against thee. Right. So yeah, it's a confusion of faces, man, right? because we have sinned. And uh, a lot of our people, we mingled, you know, um, and basically like we fell and, uh, you know, that's why you might look at a person and say, oh yeah, they, these are damn, they're damn crackers, man. You know, or, um, you know, because, you know, like this is, you know, this was a curse, you know, that befell us, all right, because we have sinned. You know, and um, like that's why uh, you know, like we tried the spirits, right? Because uh, you know, be, be, you know, because we go by the father, not by the mother, all right? And uh, basically, we tried the spirits, all right? Because uh, you know, Israel scattered, man, and uh, you know. 
especially when you're on highways and byways, you know, you have to try out the spirit and uh, see where they're coming from and see, hear and see, you know, and, you know, ask them, you know, uh, like ask them like their ethnicity, you know, like what tribe or what ethnicity are they from? You know, because we're scattered. O oh Lord, to us belong of confusion of faces to our kings and to our princes and to our fathers because we have sinned against thee. And that's what happened, man. All right, because uh, a lot of our people was already here, living fat, man. And uh, ultimate, like ultimately we fell. Um, when you put uh, the black loyalists This is gonna be like uh, You know, cause a lot of our people was uh, fighting for the you know, like, you no, know, like for the king, you know, um, you know, the house of Hanover, all right, for that King George, you no know, King George II, King George III, you know, going all the way down to uh, so called Queen Victoria, you know, she, you know, she, she was like the last one on the throne. Black loyalists were, all right, which were not black, all right. They were just Britain, all right, or like they're the British, all right, who was loyalists, all right, who, uh, you know, because when you go to the word British, all right, which means Barath, all right, which means man of the covenant, were people of African descent who side with the loyalists during the American Revolution War. All right. In, in particular, so the terms refer to men who escaped enslavement by the patriot master and served on the loyalist side because of the crown guarantee of freedom. All right. So, so, so why was that? All right. Because our people was still, you know, was calling the shots. All right. Um, you do some research about King George the Third, you know, and uh, Joe. Um, if you read about Joseph Grant, you know, um, like they, uh, you know, like King George, he was, you know, in Britain, but a lot of the natives, like they would come and they would sit down with King George the Third and have council, and uh, you know, and they're practicing masons or whatever and um basically you know like they would go back and forth you know um you know on that joseph grant you know like that's going to be our next uh like another lesson another video you know well, this is a lot of uh, history man some thousand three thousand black loyalists were evacuated from new york to Nova Scotia, all right? So that's why a lot of our people from, uh, you know, from Nova Scotia, you know, um, what do you call that place? Yeah, Halifax, um, North Preston, and all that. You know, a lot of Judites, you know, Benjamin, all right? Because a lot of the members of Jamaica, a lot of the Maroons, you know that went to Jamaica as well all right and um, basically you know like they had a lot of seed and some of them left a lot of them uh, you know like they couldn't really uh, like deal with the cold they say so they said uh, like a lot of them went to Sierra Leone eventually and established uh, colonies and stuff like that it's very in-depth so let's go back 
Genesis 49 8. O oh Lord, to us let belong the confusion of faces to our kings and to the princes that are fathers because we have sinned against you. Yeah, so, and like that's what happened. You know, King George. Okay, let's put King George III. You see how they have him? Whatever, like, you know, this is, uh, in, like they would call this iconoclasm. Alright. Alright, because, you know, there was black people on the throne still. Alright, look at Charlotte Sophia, right? Alright, she was, uh, you know, she's a princess, you know, but they, uh, Sakya, you know, like um, like this is how she would look, you know, woolly hair, but she's very fair. Because this was a curse that befell us eventually. All right, she kind of looked like a like a Beyonce, or you know, with that kind of look. Maybe she was. All right. You know, but this is how he would look. And this was 1830, the 1878, 1872. So this is how, you know, that like King George the third, all right? And he was a, a great uh, king and he, uh, let's read about it. See, so everything that we have learned, you know, like we learned a lot of lies, man. We have learned a lot of lies, you know, from these devils. George III, George William Frederick. Uh, 4th of June, 1738. Um, died the 29th of January, 1820 was a king of Great Britain and of Ireland and from the twenty Slaka and from the and from the twenty fifth of October seventeen sixty until the union of the two kingdoms. Alright. I don't want to really go too much in depth. Um you know the King George the Third um, that Joseph Grant, all right, which he was a Gadite. You know, that's why, uh, like Brantford, you know, over here in, um, it's basically bordering, uh, Hamilton. It's like right beside, it's like Hamilton region, that whole region. You know, the Joseph Brand, Batayen Nadan Joseph Grant was a military mil was a Mohawk Mohawk military and and political leader based in the present day New York, who was close associated of, with Great Britain. Right, so our people they would go back and forth. Right, you know, um, because you know because. Uh, you know, because King George, he had a, a vast empire, man. He had a monopoly, man. A great enterprise, man. All right, so, uh, you know, Joseph Grant would go back and forth, you know, back to, uh, to you know, to uh, Canada and, uh, and, and, you know, you know, and like, and they would sit down, you know, um, and pres it says based in present day New York who was close associated with Great Britain during and after the American Revolution perhaps the Native American of his generation best known from best known to the America and Britain British 
he had many of the most significant Anglo-American people of the of the age, included both George Washington and and King George II. All right, and they say that you know George Washington. They say that he uh, he like he had you know like he had black blood or Negro blood through his veins. You know, um, also on that, on that Benjamin Franklin and all that. You know, because um, because we had uh, you know the Iroquois Confederacy and all that was it was set up by our people. All right, the thirteen colonies. All right. So um, there's a lot more history, you know, what um, you know Esau doesn't want our people to know. So he was uh, born, you know, in Ohio County, and died in Burlington Beach, Upper Canada. All right, so Burlington's right there too. I'd always go back and forth and drive back and forth through that region, Burlington. Um, Burlington region, uh, you know, over there in Brantford, you know, the Brantford's right there, in it's neighboring, right? There's a lot of uh, history. Uh, this is going to be uh, part two. So with that, let us say all praises due unto you. How about Shem Yashai? The one to the apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hope of the Lord's elect. Shalom. Hopefully this video is edifying. Shalom.